Hey guys, welcome back to the GT6 project. Today we keep going with the bodywork, of course, but I, I still don't have my blocks. <laughs> don't laugh. It's Monday and 5 o'clock already and they are still not here and I'm uh, really upset already. So tomorrow I'm gonna phone and I'm gonna deal with that, but whatever. So I still have to use my little block here and that's why I don't want to start with nothing major like roof and uh, fenders and stuff like that. I still want to do little things and that's uh, actually better because I, I'm, this way I keep practicing before I get to the major stuff. So I want to deal with this. There, I don't know if you can see them from there, but there are uh, a lot of spot welds here on the deck and I want this area here to, lo to look nice and smooth because I know from my Spitfire that this area is uh, really exposed. When you open the hood, this is very, uh, it's like right into your eyes. And also here I can see that uh, something has been, I don't know, something happened here. So I want to smoothen this area and I want to smoothen this area. And then we're going to look at the other side as well to make sure that everything is uh, nice and clean. Here I can see the pitted metal is showing, so we're going to smoothen that out with uh, body filler. And then we're going to go somewhere else, maybe a little bit here. I don't know, we'll see. But I promise I'm not going to show you all the details this time. I know last video was very long and boring, so uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to show you what I planted and then I'm going to show you the ready uh, the result. So. Let's go! And guess who showed up as we speak? <laughs> I was just getting upset about that, huh? They showed up right on time, but I have the feeling that these are only my blocks. Yeah, no sandpaper. Uh, no sandpaper. Wow, but this looks like a video game. <laughs> Oh my god, so much paperwork here. Mm, smells nice. What the heck is that? Soap? Really? Cleans like no other soap. Hmm, okay. Alright, so what we got here for 89 Canadian dollars is a short block a longer block and extra long block good and have this round for I don't know if we will need it I have this one I have this one so that's good 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 but we started already with the with the deck so we're gonna finish it maybe I'm gonna use this one now to finish it I don't have sandpaper sticky back so I still have to use my other sandpaper but let's see what's gonna be this like hmm. what's going on? come on okay guys I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't work on its own I still have to move it come on I was expecting to get one that works on its own Ah, so I still have to do the hard work. Really? Whatever. Okay, we're gonna apply some bondu here now, and I'm gonna bring you back when some progress is done here. Okay, we have a little bit of fiberglass applied here for the biggest, uh, the deepest holes, and then I'm gonna sand it a little bit, and I'm gonna apply body filler, I guess, to do the fine job. Uh, but while it's uh, hardening, I pulled out the hatch again and now with the long block I will be able to do the 
bottom lip where we did the welding so I'm gonna sand it now with the long block and we will see where we're gonna get from there <laughs> That looks good, so I'm gonna do the other one and this one and I'm gonna bring you back. Alright, this is sanded with uh, 80 grit now and there's, you see where there's a little bit of a low spot here so we're gonna fill it up with uh, body filler and all these low spots here. So this is, in uh, this area here I'm happy with the lower area and I'm gonna leave that for now. Okay, some body filler applied here and now we're jumping on the Hatch. 40. Okay, we will change to 80 now. Not bad as the first coat, huh? I just need a little bit of body filler here, a little bit here, here, maybe a little bit here, and over this edge, and a little bit over here. <laughs> so basically everywhere. <laughs> I think it is uh, pretty good now. After I sanded it with 80, I found another low spot here still and here, so I filled it up again. And I think that's gonna be the last for this one. And uh, the deck is also ready. So this is also ready. Here I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here I'm happy. It, it looks spotty, but uh, uh, it is wavy. It is not perfectly straight, but I don't uh, aim at perfectly straight. I aim at smooth, and it is smooth. There are no lines. Actually, now that I said it, there is a line here. <laughs> so maybe one more time I have to fill it up. And, but it is uh, nice and smooth. That's what I'm looking for here. So that's going to be the last for today. I'm going to go home now, and I'm going to be back tomorrow. But you stay here because we're gonna be back in seconds. Okay, two more packages arrived today. And this is my, my brushable seam seal. Or brush on seam seal. Okay. So this is for seam sealing the car, obviously. I wanted to do that before I start doing the bodywork so the car wasn't all dusty. But obviously we're gonna have to clean it at some point inside and do the seam seal everywhere where we removed it so that's fine and the other one should be my sandpaper finally so we have 220 and 80 okay I didn't order 40 that's fine we can try the sticky back paper today so today we need to finish, finally we need to finish the hatch, I'm going to move you now to a better spot and once we finish the hatch we're going to jump to something else. Right, let's see how is this going to work, the sticky back paper. Hmm. I don't need to hold it anymore, 
Wow, that's nice. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I think that I still have to add, still have to fill up here and here. Just a little bit, so I'm gonna leave that for now. And you know what we're gonna do now, guys? Since we have nice long block and we have uh, paper, sandpaper, that is stuck to it, I don't need to hold it with two hands, I think we should try something more complicated. I think it is time to do this. What do you think? So let's see where the low spots are. Okay, so I just sanded here and as you can see the highs, the lows and all these uneven parts are from this line down. From here up everything looks great so far. So I'm gonna try to stay of course below this line and my plan is at least, I know it's not gonna work but just so you know that I have a plan. My plan is to apply fiberglass first to fill up the big uh, lows and then I'm gonna sand it down until I start seeing the high spots again the metal and hopefully then it's gonna be even enough just to apply a skim of uh, body filler smoothen that and be ready with this so that's the plan of course it's not gonna work and it, we're gonna be applying more standing more applying more sanding more and we're gonna be here forever, but at least, just so you know, I have a plan. <laughs> here goes nothing. Okay, based on the color of this, I think I put too much hardener in, and it already started hardening on me but it's fine that is okay for some reason I didn't order a sticky back 40 and now I have to hold it The plan so far worked well, <laughs> unbelievable, but it worked. So, uh, the, so I sanded down the fiberglass and to be honest I'm pretty pleased with how smooth it is. They're just two low areas because it's on a curve here, my block sands them there too, so uh, you can't really see them as a darker spot because they've been sanded too but I can feel them with my hand. I can feel here and I can feel here a low spot. Other than that, it's only little uh, spots here that need to be filled up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply a coat of uh, body filler. Again, I'm gonna go from the edge to somewhere here. I'm gonna try to apply the smooth as possible so I can just sand it with 80 and we will be done, hopefully. Hopefully, let's see how well I'm gonna do that. And uh, and then after we're done with this, I'm gonna do I'm gonna deal with the lip separately with this trim piece that we changed here. It is all wavy, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna deal with that separately.
Yeah? And a few lines from the 40, right here and right here, that I need to get rid of, but everything else is perfect. I'm so happy. Okay, <laughs> so half of the roof is sanded with uh, 80 now, and before I hit it with uh, 220, I'm gonna fix these two low spots. You see, there's uh, they're pretty obvious here, even though I don't feel them. I don't feel them. Maybe my hands or somebody said that with a glove, but you know. Even without gloves, I don't feel them. Anyways, so before we uh, proceed, I'm gonna have to fix this. I'm gonna have to fix, there's a, a little low spot here. Again, I don't feel it, but I can see it now. And um, yeah, and after I fix those, we're gonna sand it again with 80, and we'll sand the whole roof with 220, and then it's going to be ready for another coat of uh, epoxy because now we have uh, bare metal here and we have bare metal here because here, before I realized it, uh, it was too late when I realized that there's uh, the roof is not going like that only, it's going like that and then it's there's a little uh, low spot here over the edge. So I was going like this and I sanded all the primer out of the edge here. So here I have to go like that. You know what I mean? And be careful about the edge. But whatever, we're gonna spray with uh, epoxy primer one more time. So, progress, at least with this I'm really happy. I'm really really happy. I sanded this with uh, 220 already and it is like real. I'm so happy. but I just did it <laughs> and to be honest I didn't do a bad job it just needs a little bit of sanding <laughs> so the whole roof is sanded with 80 and uh, except these two or three issues here that we had nothing else showed up here when I sanded of course I went down to bare metal on the side so I'm gonna have to spray again with uh, epoxy primer here and here so since I'm going to be spraying with epoxy again I don't think I should go with uh, 220 here yet maybe after I spray epoxy here, here and wherever I have uh, bare metal I'm going to sand that back with 80 then I'm going to go with 220 and uh, then it's going to be ready for uh, high build primer so I think we're going to wrap this up here and uh, we're gonna keep going with more body work in the next few videos uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of videos <laughs> about body work but I'm gonna keep it to minimum I'm just gonna be giving you a little bit of updates so you know that I still work on the project but to be honest I'm, uh, I'm getting more and more confident in what I'm doing and I don't think I'm gonna do a bad job here I might not do perfect job, but it's not gonna be as bad as I expect. We'll see at the end. Let me not say ha before I jump. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have some plans, maybe, for the color now. Yeah, okay. Some of you asked uh, about the color, and I think I'm debating now between two colors. One color is uh, Muller Blue, like the TR6. I really like this color, so maybe 
I'm, I don't know, I'm 50-50 right now between Muller Blue and uh, Dumson Red. It's kind of burgundy red. I might put a picture here so you can see. I saw a really, really beautiful GT6. Again, 72, Mark III, totally does the original color of the car, so they did make this car in this year in this color. So I think I might do that uh, Dumson Red. I really like it. I was looking at the burgundy, some kind of burgundy, and I think this is the perfect uh, burgundy that I, I like. So it might be Dumson Red or, or Mauer Blue. So if you want, you can vote. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's vote between these two colors. Don't suggest any other colors. I don't, I, I don't want baby blue, I don't want yellow, I don't want any other color. I want either mother blue or Dobson red. So which one do you prefer? What? I didn't hear you. Better write it down in the comments below. Okay? Thank you. See you later, guys.